Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So? I can hear her scratching her litter box. Vic will be out in a second. And Sam? Still nothing. Hmm. Whoa! One minute, 13 seconds. Vic did all her business in one minute, 13 seconds. You are awesome. And I could do even better than that. One time, I stayed in there less than a minute. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Three hours, 45 minutes? He's never stayed so long in his litter box. I can't believe it. Do girls realize that Sam is going to beat his own world record? So? Oh, three hours, 45 minutes, and 57 seconds. You just beat your record. Way to go, amigo. Yeah. Back in the forest, I won the contest to see which wild boar could do the biggest. Hey, darling, it's me. And who's the big package for? It's for Sam. Ta-da! Your potty is ready, Sam. With this, you'll be able to use the toilet like a human being. And it will save us from having to empty your litter box several times a day. It will certainly be useful, but do you think Sam will manage? <laughs> of course he will, honey. Sam is very smart. Amazing! The Las Vegas Electronic Show. Now this is a program for me. Ugh. Sam, what's wrong with you? You have to go to the bathroom! Uh, again? Sam, you just spent exactly three hours, 45 minutes, and 57 seconds in the toilet! It's because of Mr. Livingstone's pet potty! Just thinking about it stresses me out, and when I'm stressed out, I have to go to the bathroom! Come on, Sam, I'm sure it'll work just fine! It's pretty obvious it's not you who has to use the pet potty! It's super complicated! There's a sort of pan where you put your paws just above a hole with water, and I don't understand a thing! Listen, Sam, if it's that bad, go in your old litter box! Then you can just flush the toilet to make the living stones think that you were on the pet body like a good cat and you're home free. Thanks, Wash. You're the best. <laughs> no, no, no. No more litter box. Now you're going to go to the potty like a big cat. How does this thing work? <laughs> <laughs> there, you can do your business now, Sam. New technology serving human needs. <sighs> what if just for once they thought of animal needs? <laughs> what, you missed the hole? <laughs> way, way worse. I didn't do anything at all. The Living Stones watch me to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. But to do that, I had to unzip the back of my costume. And if the Living Stones see that, they'll discover that I'm not a real cat. Don't worry, Sam. We're going to help you. But do you mind waiting until my show's over? If they're rolling the end credits, okay. Otherwise, I think it'll be too risky. Oh. <laughs> hey, you want to play ball there, Washington? Honey, I'm going outside to play ball with Washington. Wait. What are you doing here, you little rascals? <laughs> oh. Good dog. That's the alarm I installed for Sam. Quick! What? Why did he stop playing? Do you think he did his business? <laughs> Don't worry, honey. It's his first time. It's normal. It may take a while. 
Ah! Sam's not moving. His costume must be open in the rear. I've got an idea. Get yourselves ready to go button up Sam's costume. <coughs> what happened? Are you all right, honey? <gasps> Sam doesn't seem to be getting used to it. I really feel like that pet body is a failure. Perhaps he simply has a shy bladder. Maybe he freezes up when he knows people are watching him go to the bathroom? With this little camera, Sam won't know he's being watched and will be able to verify that he's learning to use the pet potty. I could never forgive myself if it's too hard for him. Why, Mr. Livingstone, you think of everything. Yeah. <laughs> Can you lend me your litter box, please? I already had to stop a fake dog from doing number one in it. There's certainly no way a fake cat is going to do a number two. Don't worry, Sam. Don't listen. We don't need her. Just do it discreetly in the yard like dogs do. But Wash, I'm a cat. What about feline honor, you know? Sam, must I remind you that you are first and foremost a wild boar? And that is exactly what the Livingstones are going to find out if you don't wake up. It's true. I suppose the yard isn't that bad after all. Thanks, Wash. <laughs> Voila! Now all we have to do is wait for Sam. <laughs> At least no one will see me up there. Hey, what's he doing? You disgusting pig! You know what this reminds me of? That sublime French film from the 60s. Oh, come on, honey. You know that film where you broke your nodding off record by falling asleep after only five minutes? Uh, two years ago at Barry and Matt's? Exactly. Except that here, when Sam finally shows up, the film is going to become exciting. It's impossible for me to find a quiet place. The yard is even worse than the forest on the first day of the hunting season. There are crowds everywhere. Wait a bit, Sam. When the sun goes down, everyone will leave to I go. I can't hold it in. I'm going to use the pet body and tough luck if the living stones catch me and I have to go back and live in the forest as the wild boar that I really am. Farewell, dogs, cats, canaries, and beloved TV. We can't leave him like this. Wash, you gotta do something. Of course. Listen, we're gonna dig a secret bathroom under the sofa for Sam and build a sewage system that will connect to the L's bathroom. Then we'll activate the toilet flush by tinkering around with the remote control Wouldn't after having- Wouldn't it be a whole lot easier to just turn out the camera in the bathroom? Uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. I've got no choice. Ow! Nick, I'm begging you. Your litter box is the only place I can do my business without the camera seeing me. If you agree, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll offer you my treasure chest of chestnuts. That's sweet of you, Sam. But it's a no. Hmm. Nick, wait a minute. I've got something for you. No means no! What in the world is he doing? How about we go watch TV instead? Besides, we'll get a warning when Sam climbs onto the pet potty. You left the alarm on, didn't you? Absolutely. <laughs> but, but where's Sam? If he's not here, that means he didn't climb onto the pet potty. So we still have a chance to save him by turning off the camera before he comes back. Uh, how do you turn this thing off? No idea. Hold on, I'm coming. What if I let you choose the TV programs for a week? Nope. Meant? Uh, no. What about forever? Uh, okay, it's a deal. You can use my litter box, but just this once. <laughs> what in the world are you doing? Stop that right now, it's dangerous. You've got it all wrong, Vic. What's dangerous for Sam is that camera pointed at the pet potty. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, new technology is not only here to serve humans, but also animals. 
And to prove it, here is a self-cleaning litter box, oh. which not only allows happy cat owners everywhere to stop cleaning out litter boxes, but it can also be delivered in one minute flat anywhere in the world. Wow, exactly what we need for Sam. But why? Sam is going to master the pet potty, honey. I'm 100% sure of it. Why, it's just a question of minutes. Right, honey. A self-cleaning litter box delivered in a minute sounds like a pretty good idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, honey. Let's give Sam some privacy this time. <laughs> With all the excitement around here, the Livingstones didn't even think to fix my broken litter box. I'm the one who should have gotten the self-cleaning box. Why don't you ask Sam? I'm sure he'll let you use it. So I can die asphyxiated? No, thank you very much. Anybody know how to get out of this thing? Oh, rat! Sam is stuck! How do we open this thing? Let the pro handle this. High tech is my middle name. Oops. Maybe that wasn't the right button. <gasps> oh. ah. Whoa! This is the best invention of all time! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody, it's time for Singing in the Shower, the show that gets your morning rocking. And with no further ado, let's welcome Josephine, who's going to sing her latest hit live from her bathroom. Wouldn't it drain all your brain cells to let some of us sleep? When you don't know how to sing, you keep quiet, okay? First of all, we know how to sing. That's what you think. I happen to have perfect ears, and I can tell you that you guys sing like a bunch of elephants. Huh? What's so special about your ear? My ear is perfect. That means I know when you're singing on key or off, and you guys are off. Way, way, way off. And too loud, so... Hey, cut it out, Vic. They're allowed to have fun. Sure, in total silence. Keep it up, girls, and pretty soon it's you who will be on TV. <laughs> Sorry? It means good morning in Dolphin. Ah, your new learn while you sleep method. Is it really working? Like a charm, as you can see. Thank you, Washington. Good job. <laughs> oh, honey, look at this. Why don't we sign Susie up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girls, girls, stop! Susie, the Living Stones want to sign you up for a singing canary contest. <laughs> Are you nuts? Susie, if you sing, the Living Stones will find out that you're not a real canary, which means a one-way ticket back to the forest! Huh? Why wouldn't I be able to sing like a canary, huh? Uh, because you're a blackbird? Susie, <laughs> what would you say to a little musical rehearsal, huh? I'd like to find out if you're good enough to enter a contest. I'm going to play you a little number on the flute, and then I want you to repeat it as faithfully as possible. Your turn, Susie. Oh, what is this horror show? What in the world is this circus? Mr. Livingstone is quickly understanding that Susie doesn't sing like a canary. So, in two minutes tops, we'll all be found out and sent packing into the forest. Any other questions? What? Mm -hmm. Singing? 
What a voice! Why, Susie, that's marvelous! And it's not like I'm surrounded by a bunch of winners, either. In Dolphin, breakfast is cold. <laughs> Honey, can I borrow your tablet? Susie turns out to be a diva of a singer. <gasps> It would be a shame not to enter her in the contest. But of course, honey. I always knew Susie was talented. <laughs> mm. What do you think Vic meant when she said she wasn't surrounded by a bunch of winners? Nothing. That's just Vic. You know how she is. What's important is that Mr. Livingstone is persuaded now that Susie is a real canary, and we can hang out and tranquilly watch TV. Before our live broadcast of the world-famous canary singing contest, we've got an exclusive interview of the president of the jury who has kindly opened his home to us. How about a word of advice to all the canaries watching us who have entered tomorrow's contest? Well, practice like your life depended on it, and don't cheat. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away, and every bird that's ever... We've got to find a way to stop your taking part in this contest, Susie. It's way too risky. But I want to enter the contest! Susie, Mr. Snobby Nose is not like Mr. Livingstone. He's an expert. He'll find out right from the first note that you're not a real canary. You don't understand. When I was little, everyone made fun of me. In fact, I'm gonna be your personal trainer. Sam, that's super nice of you, but I'm not sure that a wild boar cat is the best person to teach a blackbird how to sing like a canary. I've got a better idea. By listening to a canary while you're asleep, your subconscious will learn how to sing. And tomorrow for the contest, you'll be brilliant. Just like Mrs. Livingstone and her dolphins. Honey, you wouldn't have seen my headphones and tablet by any chance? And, uh, a canary? <laughs> no, that's a lion. <laughs> I can't believe it, Wash. Please don't tell me you forgot to put that canary video on repeat play. Yeah, uh, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know. Why? Because there were other videos streaming after that. And so Susie has memorized every single animal sound except the one we're interested in. Way to go, Mr. Brain Surgeon. Oh, hey, no problem. All we have to do is put the canary video back on. Oh, no. I don't believe it. Don't worry, Wash. Maybe we could just go to Mr. Snobby Nose. Oh, yeah, of course. So we can tell him to his face that Susie's not a real canary, give him our costumes, and then head back to the forest? Got any other brilliant ideas, Sam? Uh, no. I can't think of any other solution for listening to canary singing. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. Of course! Sam, you're Susie, a... where are you? Time to go! Lend me your costume, Susie. I've got an idea that will help us stall for time. Well, well, Susie. You seem to be in fine shape for the contest. In fact, it looks like you've put on some weight. I just hope you still fit into your cage. <laughs> go on, hop in. Oh, Susie, it's no time to play. It's time to Coast go! Coast is clear. Get back here! <laughs> Susie! Ouch! Come on, Alvarez, hurry up! Even though the contest won't start without us, that's no reason to show up late. <laughs> All right, Susie, you're on. A half a tone higher, Susie. There. Perfect. Come, come now. No reason to get stage fright like that, Susie. Everything's going to be just fine. Honey, I'm leaving. Good luck. Yay, where's your genie? Even with a canary costume, she couldn't have flown away, could she? Oh, no, your genie. And welcome to the International Canary Singing Contest. How about a big round of applause for Hubert, our first contestant? What? I'll cut off my left ear if that bird is a canary. He's a robin at best. 
And our first contestant has been disqualified after only two and 57 one hundredth of a second. Our jury president has wasted no time in letting us know that he will be inflexible when it comes to cheating. We're goners! You genie doesn't stand a chance! And now for our second contestant, Myrtle! What a joke! That song was pre-recorded! Incredible! Myrtle has just been disqualified! Will Susie, our third canary, have more luck than our first two contestants? I can't watch this. Susie, begin! The jury is getting impatient! Cool, isn't it? If she doesn't win the contest with that... I can tell you that's no canary. But what in the world is this bizarre specimen? Fly away, Eugenie, quick! He's going to discover your disguise! Very impressive. This majestic winged creature appears to be a distant cousin of the Sumatra Tam-Tam bird. Good heavens, honey! Why the long... What happened? Susie's not a real canary. She's an exotic bird. A distant cousin of the Chickatoomy Tam Tam bird or something like that. And it's strictly forbidden to keep such exotic birds in captivity. Honey, do you realize that all this time we've been breaking the law? Shouldn't you call the vet just to be 100% sure about this? Susie, go sing into the phone to make the vet think that you're a real canary. Uh, uh, are you sure? It's our only chance. Susie's not a real canary. What in the world is this all about? Well, that's what Mr. Snobby knows, the jury president said, and... Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be. Susie just asked you if the coffee's ready in Dolphin. Can you believe that? Huh? I don't know what kind of nonsense is going on in your house, but allow me to say without the hint of a doubt that if that is indeed Susie singing, she is 100% canary. And now, if you will excuse me, I am very busy. Right, now where was I? Well, there you go, honey. Mr. Snobby Nose was mistaken. It's, uh, human, you know? <laughs> Not bad, huh? I have to agree, they're pretty good. And it's all thanks to me. Well, you should have brought that canary instead. He would have won the contest. He's singing the Trombado Canary Fugue in C major to perfection. I swear it's the same canary. But I just don't understand. He started singing like my rabbit. Must have been stage fright or something. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Thanks, Washington. Well done. Good dog. Here you go, a little reward. Bring me up my newspaper, will you? You'll find me in my bedroom. You dogs are so pathetic. All those disgusting chores to chew on some old shoe. No way. It's delicious. And what's more, it's great for the teeth. Good little doggy, who does everything Daddy tells him to. Got a problem, Vic? You're not jealous by any chance. Are you joking? See us cats, Wash? We don't have to go bootlicking humans for love and appreciation. All we have to do is be ourselves. Beautiful, agile, gracious. Everything a dog is not. <laughs> Baloney! Dogs are a match for cats in every department. Yeah? So if that's true, can you, for example, explain to me why dogs can't climb trees, whereas cats can? Oh, yes, we can. It's just we have better things to do. I'll go climbing trees whenever you want, Bake. Yeah? Really? 
The first to grab the ribbon is the winner. But warning, if you fall, then... Mm, 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 Elimination. Basically, if Wash falls, he loses. Looks like I've got time for a little cat nap. <sighs> Poor little Washington. Need a helping tail? Go on, grab hold. You're breaking my little heart. Hang on tight. Washington! 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 <laughs> Looks like you've lost, Vic. Speaking as a cat, I will say that I am very disappointed with your performance, Victoria. But speaking as Wash's best friend, I am pleased with the result. Way to go, Wash. You won, boy. Zalvik, ready to pay the price for defeat? Don't even think of it. Oh, look at Daddy's cute little dog. Ha ha! Okay, had enough? Are you through? Are you happy now? Can I take this off? You, pretty pie. Hey, Wash, not coming to say hi? What's he doing lying on Victoria's armchair? Come on, Wash, get up. Come say hi. Washington? Washington? Uh, what? How weird. See that, honey? Wash doesn't look like himself today. It looks like his head has gone flat. No, he's lost weight. Look, his skin is hanging off his bones. Okay, honey pie, double ration of kibble for you today. <laughs> Dog kibble. It's disgusting. Washington, you gotta eat. Go on. <laughs> Go on, little doggy. Eat him up. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Wash got himself a double ration of kibble and we didn't. It isn't funny. But it isn't Wash. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Okay, time for some exercise, Washington. That'll soon perk you up. It's weird. It's like Wash's costume has grown too big for him. It's because it isn't Wash, Sam. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Uh, hang on. Wash wearing... No. Who's it again? Go on, Washington. Catch! <laughs> Your reflexes are rusty, Washington. You're beginning to worry me. Luckily, I have a nice, juicy, vitamin-enriched bone for you. You should see her, Wash. Vic is hopeless at playing the dog. Uh -huh. What? It has to stop right this minute. I've spent two years training to create the perfect dog act, and Victoria's ruining it all in one afternoon. If she carries on like that, the living stones are going to kick me out. Uh, you or Vic? Uh, me. I mean, Vic and then me. Yeah. If they throw Vic out wearing my dog costume, even if I do get it back, the living stones will never let me in the house again, Sam. <laughs> Vic, give me my costume back. Like I wanted to keep it. You could have watched out. You nearly ruined all my efforts at passing as the perfect pooch. Let it be a lesson to you. I didn't ask to wear your crummy costume. Hey, and another thing. Are you ready to fess up that cats are better than dogs? <laughs> Not on your life, Vic. Okay, if that's the way it is, I'm keeping it. And don't expect me to play the perfect pooch. I am hopeless at dog stuff. The worst around. Wash, <laughs> Washington! My slippers! Oh, <laughs> 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 
Washington, my slippers. Gosh, what has that meant to you? Washington, please. Sam, go tell Vic right this minute that I admit cats are better than dogs. And make her give me my costume back, please. Wash, you bad dog. Don't ever do that again. Otherwise, you're in for trouble. No, give me that, Washington. You've been a bad dog. You don't have a right to your... Washington, calm down! No! Stay there and don't move. It's punishment time for you, you naughty dog. Come on, girls. We're going to leave Washington on his own. He has to calm down. He's being punished. Wash told me to tell you that, uh, that cats, uh, no, the dogs are better than cats. What? Dogs are better than cats? If it's war Wash wants, he's gonna get it. Ah, peace and tranquility. It looks like Washington has finally calmed down. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Have you gone crazy? Who did that? Own up right this minute, or... <laughs> about my costume? Is she gonna give it back? Yeah, I don't know. They cut it off into the yard, and Mr. Livingstone said you're punished and you have to stay on your own in the kitchen. You gotta stop bugging Vic. She's really mad. There's gonna be trouble. Huh? What? What kind of trouble? Ah! Washington, please calm down! Ah! What did you say to Victoria to wind her up like that? Exactly what you told me to say. The dogs are better than cats. Huh? Uh, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> You naughty, naughty dog, Washington. Go to bed this instant. I shall decide what punishment you deserve. What's going on, honey? I don't know what's got into Washington. He's behaving dreadfully. Uh-oh. We'd better get your costume back and back. I have an idea. Try to tell the Livingstones that Victoria has disappeared. That way, she'll be forced to show herself without my costume and we'll be able to... Yeah. Oh, Victoria, you are so sweet. Not like bad, bad Washington. Imagine if Wash attacked Vic or one of our other lovable sweetie pies. He's already attacked a postman. What if the next time he bites? I hate to say this, but for the safety of all of us, we must call the animal pound, honey. It's our duty. No, this is the end. Wait. What if Washington is sick? Maybe that's why he's behaving like this. You're right, honey. I'll call the vet this instant. You have called Vladimir Venovic's veterinary clinic. I'm obviously really busy right now. So don't call back until you've forgotten your problem. Let's go for a little walk to clear our minds, honey. We'll give him a call when we get back. Vic, where did you put my costume? So tell me. Our cats. Yes, cats are better than dogs. But for Pete's sake, give me back my costume. If I don't get to play the perfect pooch when I get home, I'm done for. Seeing as you're such a good little doggy, you should be able to find your costume all on your lonesome. With your legendary sense of smell. No, 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 no! Why don't you use your nose like Vic said? Because I'm not a real dog, Eugenie. You smell him. <laughs> they stink of cheesy feet. You can't smell anything else? Sure. In the background, there's something that smells good, a kind of perfume. That's Vic's aroma. She left her scent on the slippers when she ripped them apart. All you have to do is track down her odor. Visit everywhere she went, and eventually you're sure to find wherever she hid your costume. How do you know all that? You've never been a dog before. No, but in the forest, guys always kept stealing my acorns. So I had to learn to use my snout to find them. I found it. Vic hid my costume in the kibble. I can smell it. But where is it? Don't panic. It happens. It's what you call a false leap. Keep looking. There must be another trail. Going around in circles, are we? You cheat! As mock dogs go, I confess. I'm impressed with you. How about we make peace? How about we say a fox in dog disguise is equal to a cat? Like that idea? Look, honey, it looks like Wash is feeling better. Maybe we don't need to call the vet after all. Of course, it must be those vitamin-enriched bones that made him crazy like that. He must be allergic to them. I'll throw them away. It's silly, I know, but I think I finally developed a taste for them. <sighs> What? Only fools never change their minds, no? Oh, 
Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Ta-da! Fresh clean outfits coming up! <laughs> Breathe in deeply and listen to your inner voice. Mm, my inner voice. Oh, hey! Oops, missed it. Sorry, Victoria. Spring kibble scent. Hmm. I say this is the good life, wouldn't you? You bet it's the good life. Oh, yeah. We're living the good life. We're living the good life. So who? So who? So who's gonna have a feast? A little sweetie song! A little feast! <laughs> hey! What's going on? Oh! Poor little guy! He looks abandoned! Um. <laughs> Aww! We're living together! We're living together! Car! Uh oh! Disguises! Hey, did these shrink or what? We're home, little darlings. And now we have a new addition to our family. <laughs> we found him on the street, abandoned. Here is Poppy, your new little friend. Oh, what a cute little thing. Wow, a little brother. <laughs> That's cool. Take good care of him. Poor little kid. Yeah. We're going to get you a bowl of kibble. A huge bowl of kibble. Be careful, Wash. My inner voice tells me that that little puppy is not as cute as he seems. My shackles rose as soon as he came into the room. Poppy? But he's too cute for words. Your inner voice is mistaken, Vic. Hey, puppy kiddo. Let me show you around your new home. <sighs> And there on your left is the softest bed in the entire house. Demonstration. <laughs> hey, you're a little prankster, huh? Cool it, Daddy. There's only room for one dog in this house, and that dog is me. Soon I'll be the master of the entire household. <laughs> uh, is this a joke? <laughs> Stop, guys! Watch out! Poppy! Ferocious pup! What are you talking about? Peek-a-boo! Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> that is so, so funny, funny Poppy! <laughs> no, seriously, I mean it! Check out his fangs! <laughs> wow! You're right, Clash. That pup has a ferocious appetite. Never seen anything like it. Hey, tummy bump, kid! Wait a sec. This is not what I was trying to say. What Wash was trying to say is that this is not at all what I expected. I thought I'd found a home and some kibble, but in fact, I found friends. Aww. Aww. Uh -huh. Yeah, that little squirt's so annoying. Oh, he is so cute. I told you so. Should have listened to my inner voice. One, two, three, four. They are my friends. My house. And it's gonna stay that way. Guess who's turning up on the street later? The dog found service. Bye-bye, kid. Oh. Hmm. Are you okay, little puppy? <laughs> I can explain all this. <laughs> Wash said that there was only room for one dog in the house. That's oh. why he wanted to get rid of me. <laughs> huh? You did that, Wash? No. I, I mean, yes. I, I can explain everything. You You'll never ever do that again, or else. Hmm. 
Sorry, Poppy. Won't happen again. Cool! So we can all play together again. Yippee! Yay! Time for me to take care of you. Your friends will soon be obeying Master Poppy. <laughs> Dream on, Squirt. <laughs> Smells like kibble. Oh, that's odd. It's not dinner time yet. Huh? Hmm. Huh? Oh! Just you wait till Mr. Livingstone sees this! Hey! I don't believe it! Wash! What's all this noise? You again, Wash? Oh, poor Poppy. Come here. You won't get me this time, you little squirt. What's going on now, Wash? Uh? <laughs> and you're proud of that? You bad dog, you're punished. You're staying in the doghouse, and you are not allowed to play with your friends until we get home. <sighs> oh, the poor guy. Yeah, and that's thanks to me, you ninnies. Yeah, but let's get into you, Poppy. From now on, it's Master Poppy, Nitwit, and you'd better obey my every word. Otherwise, you're out, like your friend. Sam, do something! Yeah, uh, so you think we're scared of a fluffy little pup like you? Uh, uh, yeah, well... Actually, we are, but I can be ferocious, too. After all, I'm a wild boar. A wild boar? What wild boar? Right here in front of you, Pipsqueak. You, you're not a real cat? <laughs> no, I'm a wild beast. And not only me, Washington and Susie and Eugenie are wild, too. Grrr. Which means if you don't obey Baby, I can blow your cover? That's even better! <laughs> Sam has revealed our secret! Now we're done for! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Miniature flea bag think he is. Oh, feeling unhappy about something, princess? <laughs> Out of here right now! <gasps> uh oh, he threw you out too. No, he didn't. Sam did. All your buddies are now slaves to Master Poppy. Huh? Well, how is that possible? Sam told him that you are all wild animals. He's got you under his thumb. Oh, Sam, what have you done now? And, uh, how do you intend to get rid of that perverse pup? By revealing his true nature to the Living Stones. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Master Poppy, the top. When the wind blows, the cradle will rise. Hey, guys! Yeah? I got a plan. Listen up. That is so cool! Uh, you here? How dare you come back into my house? <laughs> Girls, it's time to reveal little puppy's real face. If the living 
Flintstone saw this wild-looking creature... They'd chase it out of the house immediately. <laughs> Now we'll see who the wild beast is! <laughs> Give me back my bunny hat right now! Oh no! We're done for! Wait a minute, Shorty. I think it's time to have a little chat. You never fail to surprise me. I promise, next time, we'll listen to your inner voice. <sighs> it's better this way. Poppy will be happy in that home for little puppies who are, uh, traumatized. Hey, what's going on? Oh, poor thing. It must be abandoned. Five is enough! Huh? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You'll see. If we don't leave soon, we'll miss the lunar eclipse. Just one minute. I've nearly finished. Here we go. System activated. Now I can control the whole house. I am a one-man smart home wizard. What's a smart home whiz head? No idea. But I think we're about to find out. Allow me to demonstrate. Greetings and welcome to the Mirage Home Automation System. Your remote assistant smart home dream wizard. Dinner is served. No! Oh. Wow! Ah. And you haven't seen nothing yet. Oh. Oh. This is incredible! Yeah! Incredible! And that isn't all, but we have a lunar eclipse to catch. Don't worry, honey. It'll be all right here when we get back. In the meantime, my furry friends, I've prepared a special program for you. Here we go. Nature sound activated. See you tomorrow morning. This is going to end in tears. Good luck. <laughs> but this is terrible. It's like we're back in the forest. Don't worry, guys. I've got it. This here tablet is where it's at. When he says I've got it, that's when we start worrying, right? Nature escape deactivated. There you go. Just ask the expert. Okay, let's see. Why don't we create a little atmosphere? How about a little music? Oh. <laughs> 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 Ah, now that's what I call music. How about a little massage? Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a good idea to play with the tablet, Washington. Of course it is, Sam. You'll see. The possibilities are endless. Hey, that sounds like... Kibble! Uh, what? That's enough kibble, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'll go look for the stop button. Just a second. No need. I got it covered. It's okay. I found it. 
Tropical scape activated. Wow, is it getting hot in here or is it me? <laughs> yeah, a bit. I'll sort this out in no time. Don't worry, Eugenie. I have the situation under control. You'll see. Adjusting to maximum temperature. I think my costume is melting, Wash. Alert! Toxic matter detected. Quarantine commencing. Disinfection of premises. Five, four, three. Quarantine complete. Uh oh, quick, hide! What was that alarm? We never get a moment's peace around here. Those neighbors sure are a wild bunch. Oh. Come here, you sleepyhead. Uh-oh, I think we got a tiny problem. Do you know we're wild animals? No, Sam, we're locked outside. Oh no, no costumes, no kibble. <laughs> My turn! Oh. Why didn't we press the big green button again? <coughs> Stop, you'll wake up the whole neighborhood. But what are we gonna do? Breathe deeply, everything is gonna be fine, and let's just keep calm. If this really is a smart house, then it and I are gonna get on great. Hi, Mirage, I'm Washington. Would you be so kind as to let us back in? Hmm? It's all been a silly little misunderstanding. Our costumes aren't toxic, and we really need to get them back. We can at least say something. But you gonna open up? You disconnected, I'm gonna jump! Is this some kind of joke? It's a good thing you told us to keep calm. Say, Wash, I've got a great idea to get back into the house. Good job, Eugenie. But I have a better idea. We'll go in via the roof. Give me a hand, Sam. We're gonna need some gear. Is it me? Or does he never listen to my ideas? Wanna hear it, Susie? Remember when you snuck into the house through the piping system? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Hey, say, where have the girls gone? Wash, are you sure this is the right time to go skiing? I know what I'm doing. Come on, nearly there. Wall. 
Situation critical. Remote control disabled. Contacting owner. Get inside that house, but where's Sam? Hello? Hello? Can you hear us, Susie? We've lost her. There's no network. Mm. We have no choice. We have to get inside that house now. On three we go. One, two... Wait, wait. How about five instead? Good idea. You're right. On five, then. Five! 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 Okay, wait. Five! Hang on, Susie! There you go. Problem solved. Whew. Right. Let's get our costumes back. went crazy! Where are our poor little darlings? My dear little angels, you must have been terrified! For sure! I'm going to uninstall this hopeless smart house system straight away. And you'll be getting double kibble all week! Looks like I made the right decision going with them, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. We came through just fine. Yeah? So what's that, uh, then? Um... <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Bunch of scaredy cats. The coast is clear. There's nothing to worry about. Something feels off, Wash. Come on, I didn't inflate the pool for nothing. Well, I'm going in. Well, if you want your costumes back, you're gonna have to get your paws wet. I think he's adapting a little too easily to domestic life. Come on, jump and swim, bunch of chickens. With this heat wave, even the guys from the animal pounder at the beach today. You were saying about the pound guys? Yeah, right. Well, we all make mistakes. And besides, for you, it's just a misunderstanding. They'll quickly find out you're a cat. Maybe we should have left the cats. Are you nuts? An alley cat that hangs out with animals like that? Why, he's probably wild too. And dangerous. <gasps> oh no! I think he's taking us back to the forest! And our costumes are back home in the bag! For sure the living stones are gonna find them when they come home! Didn't realize they were nothing but a bunch of wild animals! <laughs> you, yes, but me, no. I can always. 
always get readopted. All I have to do is wait for the first hikers to show up while I quietly nap in a pretty calm little spot in the sun. A pretty and calm little spot in the sun. <laughs> We're not going there on a picnic, Vic. Do you want me to tell you what life in the forest is really like? I am sick and tired of you hanging around the foxhole all day. <laughs> Go out and play with the pack your age. <sighs> so, it looks like you've been thrown out again, Wash. <laughs> Not at all. What do you mean? I just like being outside where the weather is fine. <laughs> yeah, right. But it's raining now. Oh, look, over there. A ray of sunshine. <clears throat> My secret cave, the only good thing I had going for me. The only place in the forest where I felt protected and could dream of a better life. Mm. If only they made meat-flavored berries, then I wouldn't have to hunt anymore and all the animals could live happily in peace. Hey, Wash. Got anything to eat? Cause I'm hungry! Oh, no, not that. Well, then I guess you better go get me something to eat. Now! <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what you're forgetting is that I'm a cat, and I can climb up a tree where nobody will be able to bother me. Are you hmm? crazy? Even way up high in the forest is super dangerous. <laughs> Too bad. Until a hiker comes along, I'll just adapt. As long as I keep my stomach full. <laughs> <laughs> Finding food is also going to be a hassle? <laughs> Nothing left to munch on. <laughs> and your genie still hasn't come back yet. Good thing you're here to lift my spirits. Your beauty, your calm, your smile. It's me! Hmm? An enormous boar grabbed it from under my nose! An alpha boar! There was nothing I could do! Yep, survival of the fittest forever and ever. Yeah, well, I'm going to have the fittest eating out of my paw. With my charisma, I'll charm them all. That's the last thing you want to do. I tried it once and... Can I play with you guys? My brother went off to find something to eat and I'm bored all alone. Don't you have anyone your age to play with? No, I'm all alone. Come on, please. And it's a go! Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh. That's not how it happened. <sighs> you, you had me scared. For a moment I thought that. Yeah, well, okay, mm -hmm. I admit I left out a bit. The truth is that right when I was almost about to escape... That's better. I prefer the whole truth. Being precise is important, Eugenie. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Vic. It was all a big joke. Hey, everything okay, Vic? <laughs> we may have laid it on a bit heavy there. Why don't we tell her about something good that happened? us in the forest. Like what? Nothing good ever happened. Oh, I knew. How about the time we met? That's right. But uh, it was super hot that day. <sighs> Whew. Hey! <laughs> in here! Thanks! 
if it hadn't been for you, we would have wound up stewed. Those humans are all crazy. Let's cut down the last one and we're off. Oh. Over here. Mm -hmm. Thanks. My name is Susie. I'm Eugenie, and he's my brother Sam. And he's, um, he's... Washington, this is my secret cave, and you're all welcome here anytime. Other than Mitch, who occasionally stops by, no one will ever find us here. Uh, no one ever? You sure? Boy, I hope we don't find ourselves nose to nose with any wild animals. Ah, a metal monster! Do you see that bunny beaver asleep inside? Ah, oh, he is too cute. Wow, that funny looking animal lives peacefully with humans? I'll go ask him. Come on, Vic Honey. Nap time's over. Metal monsters everywhere! Susie, you okay? Well, yeah, but I wasn't able to do anything. The metal monster caught me before I could talk to the bunny beaver. Who are these blockheads? Maybe those humans have taken the bunny beaver prisoner. We have to help him escape. Whoa, hang on there. Who are you? I'm neither a bunny nor a beaver, and even less a bunny beaver. My name is Victoria, and I'm a cat. In fact, I am a domesticated cat. What does domesticated mean? Are you guys from outer space or what? Domesticated means I live with humans. I'm a pet, and they are my humans. And this is a car, a machine to get you from one place to another. <laughs> Yeah, and what's the that? <sighs> Relax. These are just moving pictures. It's called a movie. You love them. You coddle them. You want the absolute best for your faithful companions. Well, then give them K Goody Kibble. Whoa! Nah, <laughs> you won't see me falling for that stuff. You can tell the whole thing's been made up. And yet, that's my life to a T. And the life of all other household pets in the city. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember. What a marvelous film. It was the feature version of Sentimental Hospital. My favorite series. <laughs> <laughs> Hush, please! Please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here! Hush, please! Please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here! Vic, we're going home! Wait a sec! Take us with you! We want the same life! <laughs> That's the best one yet! It's my life, and I don't share. <laughs> what do we do now, Wash? We're gonna try our luck! really should repair this road. I think we've got a flat tire. <gasps> Wait! I know how we're gonna get out of here. The truck has to hit a big pothole on the road like the Living Stones did. Pothole at 10 o'clock! Oh, Rats is on the other side of the road! Well, then we'll throw the truck off course. At the count of three, everyone jump to my side. Seven, twelve, three. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Smoothie time! Smoothie, smoothie, smoothie! Ha! Susie, quick, grab the keys and open the back door! And we're off to our secret forest hideout. Where no hiker has ever stepped foot. Aren't you hungry? I could eat anything right now. A fox, a wild boar. And why not a cat while you're at it? I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. No reason to panic. Let's analyze the situation calmly. Susie has managed to escape. The two guys in the front seat are crooks, and we're headed for their hideaway. In the worst part of the forest where they might decide to grill us like hot dogs <gasps> and eat us for dinner? No, can't see any reason to panic. How about in that bag there? Sure there's nothing to eat? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't need that if I were you. It smells so bad, you'd probably die of indigestion. Our costumes! They're here! We're saved! Yippee! Oh, yeah? Yippee? And how, Mr. Einstein, do you plan on getting them? She's right, Sam. As long as we're locked up in here, we're still goners. <sighs> Farewell, my beloved city. I will never forget the first time I stepped onto your beautiful asphalt streets. Yeah. Back then, we didn't know anything, did we? Why, we even thought the Living Stones would adopt us without our costumes. You guys remember? Whoa! Now that's a foxhole from heaven. Don't you think that Vic's fur has been lackluster recently? Hmm. I've noticed that too. I think she must be lonely. It's not easy being an only cat, you know. We should maybe think of adopting some other pet friends for her. Dinner time, Vic, and then we'll go outside and enjoy the sun. This cave is enormous! Whoa, do you smell that? I don't know what it is, but it's really appetizing. Feeling a little bit less lonely? A little less only child? Huh? Are you nuts? And who told you you could eat my kibble anyway? Kibble? You mean like in the commercial at the movies? So it was all true? Wash, mm -hmm. come check it out. There's tons more to eat. Woohoo! Down we go! I'm warning you. If at the count of three you're not out of here, things are going <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Sam. <laughs> there. And never set a paw in here again. Promise. Swear. Promise. What's this? Whoa. Whoa. Movies right at home. That was the day we discovered paradise. Uh, it wasn't paradise right away. Yeah, more like a living nightmare, I'd say. <laughs> You promised me you'd leave! So what? We're allowed to change our minds, aren't we? But... but your word is worthless, then! You're nothing but a bunch of savages! Not really. Instead, you should look at this as a favor we're doing for you to help you fight off loneliness. And to help you get luster back into your fur! Uh, what are you talking about? What in the world huh? ever happened to the Rose Chicken? My friends, the moment has come to put on our most winningest smiles! Uh -huh. ah! Wild animals! Ah! Hello, hello, ah! is this the animal pound? There are four of them, with fangs and tons of hair and claws and... Just come quick, okay? This is certainly the first time in history we've ever scared human beings. <laughs> City hunters, run for your life! in the forest. We're being hunted. So what do we do? It's so weird. Animals are treated like kings in the city. Yeah, but they're all city animals. And we're wild animals. And they'll always think we're wild. There's nothing left to do but go back to the forest. Hey, look, a fox cub. 
That's proof that wild animals from the forest can also be adopted, no? <laughs> can you believe it? He didn't even know it was a costume! <laughs> yeah, well, I'll have you know it was thanks to me that we found out what it was. <laughs> exactly what we need to pass ourselves off as city animals. Look, there's tons of them in that cave over there. Let's grab some. You see, Wash? You may have seen the fox cub first, but I was the one who found the costume. Yeah, well, finding a store is a cinch. Getting the costumes out of it is something else. No humans in sight. Everyone into the fake fur and tail cave. On the double. The cave is packed with humans. Look, over there! Nah, too wild. Too weird. Awesome! <gasps> nah, we can do better. that all of the city animals have owners, like Victoria. With these costumes, we've got every chance in the world with the Living Stones. You can't be serious. Even disguised as household pets, the answer is no. Luckily, just after that, the Living Stones opened the door again and adopted us. And that was thanks to me, because I'm too cute. Not at all. It was thanks to my super adorable Purry. Knock off your nonsense. It was especially when they saw what a super brilliant dog I was. Only in your dreams, guys. If they adopted you, it was 100% thanks to me. Say what? what? I never told you this, but... Meow. Oh, my poor little Vic. Why, look. Even her whiskers are falling out. Her loneliness is dragging her down. You know what I think? Nugget and Fluffy are all alone this summer. The neighbors are leaving and asked me if we could look after them. Oh, what a great idea. We have tons of room, and it'll do Vic a world of good. You Vic. We're going to become the best friends in the whole world. As long as there are going to be parasites in this house, I'm going to do the choosing. She's acting like she wants to go out, which certainly isn't like her at all. Oh, look! They are just adorable! Don't you think so, honey? Why do I get the feeling there will soon be seven of us in this house? Hmm. You seriously did that for us? Yeah, well, I especially did it for me. Nugget and Fluffy are such total twits. I'll explain to the neighbors that we can't keep their cats this summer. <laughs> oh, we get our place in line stolen by a bunch of animals who look like they just walked out of the forest. Not all of them. Check out the dog. He's like too cute. <gasps> huh? <laughs> Boy, am I ever stuffing. Hey, we hijacked the animal pound truck. Give me the key. Maybe there are some captured animals in the back. What would you say to some cat kebab? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Vic. After all you did for us, we would never let you down. Look at that. Dinner is served. <laughs> The police! Hey! Huh? Ah! Her costumes! It's not 
the police hits the living stones. We were saved! Woohoo! But how did they find us? Oh, because of my collar. It's got a GPS tracking device so I can be found. All real household pets have one these days. Uh, yeah, but red alert, guys, because we don't have our costumes. And without our costumes, the living stones will never take us back. Uh -huh. What do you expect, guys? All good things come to an end. Hey, I'll send you a postcard. Hey! <gasps> An animal pound truck abandoned out here? Well, my GPS reading indicates that Victoria's inside it. Let's just hope they're all in there together. <laughs> oh! And to think that I was just seconds from being all alone with the Living Stones. My dream has been shattered. <laughs> the TV! You're gonna have to squeeze in and find some room, darlings. Since we were so sad at having lost you, we agreed to keep Nugget and Fluffy for the entire summer. It's <laughs> uh... Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Exterminatrix? What a joke. We don't need pest control. We've got two cats. They'll keep us mouse free. Hey, where did Sam go? <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam, what do you think you're doing? Hey, I'm just hanging out with Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sam, you know very well that cats don't hang out with mice. It's against the law. Cats are meant to chase mice. Why? This kid is my buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm your buddy. Dogs are a cat's best friend, not mice, okay? That's not true. This kid gives me cheese. When's the last time you gave me any cheese? But, Sam, look at him. He's taking you for a ride. It's obvious he's hatched some plan in the back of his mind. Hmm. I don't see anything hatching in the back of his mind. Listen, Biscuit isn't doing this out of friendship. He's doing this so that you leave him alone and he can have free run of the Livingstone's house. It's blatantly obvious. And what is blatantly obvious to me is that you have zero cheese to give me and that you're totally jealous that Biscuit and I are big buddies. <laughs> Vic! Biscuit is in the kitchen. You gotta go chase. <sighs> in your dreams. Biscuit and I came to an agreement two years ago, so I don't have to go chasing anything. An agreement? What agreement? Ugh, see you later. <laughs> oh. Is your cat too old? Or perhaps too dumb? Does he fall asleep every time he sees a mouse? Then call the Exterminatrix, your 24-7 emergency pest control solution. Huh? Oh, row, 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 <laughs> row, 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 What's got into you? That's enough, Washington. Row, 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 Honey, uh, whoa, can't you whoa, see whoa, he wants to play? Whoa. All right, but then sleepy time, okay? Come on, whoa, whoa, fetch, whoa, 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 little doggy. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, go fetch, Washington. Maybe he wants more. What in the... What's got into you, Washington? The mouse! Sam, catch the mouse! If you so much as lift a finger, you can kiss goodbye to cheese forever. Get it? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, this time we need a real specialist. <laughs> it was horrible. It was like the mouse had cast some weird spell on Sam. Hello, exterminatrix? Alfie Snout, a.k.a. the Exterminatrix, at your service. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they can be ferocious. Uh, I smell a rat. I'll be back later. Ciao! Don't worry, sir. I've got the solution. Wow, see that, girls? We're dealing with a true professional. What's going on? Oh, there's this weird guy who turned up. No idea what he's doing here. So <laughs> where's the crime scene? <laughs> there! <laughs> Mission accomplished! Sam, there's nothing we can do. That's just the way the world works. The mouse turns up, the mouse gets caught. And nobody can do nothing about it. Do you need a handkerchief? Not at all. Before I became a mouse detector, I was what they once called a nose. I worked for the greatest perfumers, Bilberry, Kevin Clown, even Coco Caramel. Caramel number five was my own. Until one day when my assistant, jealous of my success, sneaked wild anima fur into my latest perfume, which gave the perfume a disgusting scent and ruined my reputation. How horrible. Horrible, yes. The stinking odor of wild animals has never left me. And I can tell you, you've got much more than mice here. What do you mean? You don't want to know. I've got it all figured out. How Hi. about you go for a nice walk around the block? I'll take care of this. Oh, what's going on? It's the middle of the night. Our dear little pets have to... There are wild animals in here. I'd bet my nose on it. Don't worry, guys. I'll get rid of those stinky critters and two shakes of a skunk's tail. With my amazing sense of smell, I never miss my target. Let the hunt begin. All the exits are blocked. We're done for. You'll send this bag to the forest for sure. Never. Follow me. Smells great, huh? It's Biscuit's cheese stash. Vic, what are you doing here? I, I, I know it's wrong, but I so love cheese. It's too delicious. So I came to this agreement with Biscuit. He supplies the cheese, and in exchange, I leave him alone. What? You both made the same deal with Biscuit? Don't you see? That's why we're being hounded by that maniac, and now we're inches away from being sent back to the forest. What? You did that? Because of you, my buddy Biscuit got captured? Of course not, Sam. Biscuit isn't your buddy. I'm your buddy. <laughs> Somebody you are. You snake in the grass. Get me out of here. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry. Sam, you're my best friend. I'd do anything for you. <laughs> if you want, I'll go free Biscuit myself. Go on. And if you do release him, maybe I will deign to look at you again. How are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. I shall hide inside a piece of cheese to conceal my wild animal odor. So? So the exterminatrix won't be able to smell me anymore. And all I'll have to do is sneak up to his backpack and release Biscuit. Wash, you're amazing. I'll come with you. I don't believe it. I've lost their trail. Sam, now's the moment. Let's go. That's weird. It's like the wild animal stink has been replaced by something else. It's not polecat. It's not skunk. It's 
It's... it's worse! A totally new species! I'm about to discover a totally new species! It looks like Wash's plan hasn't turned out so good! What an incredible odour! It's disgusting! I've never smelled anything like it! Quick! We gotta help them! Uh-uh. Totally out of the question. It's a great plan! It's sure to work! Girls! You really think I'm gonna parade around dressed in a stinky cheese in front of that guy just to save Sam and Wash? What if I get caught? That's just it, it won't matter. There's no danger for you, you're just a standard issue pet cat. Standard issue, huh? I see, the answer is no. Uh, um, I wonder what the cats in the hood would think if they found out that you stuff your face <laughs> with cheese in secret. Especially in exchange for a mouse's freedom. Uh, it's okay, I was just kidding. Of course I'm going to help you. On one condition, you never say a word to anybody. Promise! So, what's the cheese with the biggest stink? No, please, have mercy! Not the seven-year chabichou! A new odor, what is it? It's, it's incredible! Even worse than the last one! It smells like a species that doesn't even exist. I'm about to discover a species that doesn't even exist! That's enough! What's going on? Let us in! Sam, hit his legs and make him fall. When he's on the ground, we release Biscuit. Mission accomplished! Now everyone, head for shelter! Victory! I've got you now, you vile unidentified creature with your putrid odor! Thanks to you, I'll be famous again! I have just saved your home from a new species of wild animal, as yet unidentified, but especially ferocious. Mm? What have you done to our cat? Why is she covered in cheese? Well, I, I, I don't get it. My sense of smell has never let me down before. I'm so sorry. I really am. Uh, but I did catch the mouse. At least that's something, yeah? <laughs> Mm. This is amazing! Make the most of it. Not every day will be like this. It's only because you saved my skin. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Yes, I love you, Vanessa, but I must leave you. Sam, it's a toy for cats, not a toy 
fight for wild boars! Hey, I'm serious! I really do love this toy! Nonsense! It's a toy made especially for cats! And only cats! That is such a lie! Wild boars love acorns! And I'm a wild boar and a cat! I'm a boy cat, and that means I love it twice as much as you. I even had one in the forest. for cats. Cats and four cats. Oh, you're so soft. <gasps> and you're mine. Oh, my. <laughs> I don't like this. Hey! <laughs> hey, Nick, you know your favorite show is Antique. <laughs> Thanks, Wash. I'll watch it when I get my toy back. Yeah. Good thing everybody is all snug and warm inside. Never give up. 
Come back in for a snack. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Sam, what are you doing there? I'm hiding. I can't leave the room. Hiding? But hiding from what? Where's your disguise? It disappeared. Help. Hmm. But we can still see her behind. <laughs> That's what happens when you cross me. I'll give Sam back his costume, but under one condition. Which is? That Sam agrees to let me keep the acorn forever. Do whatever you want, Vic, but hurry up! Follow me. <laughs> the costume is under there. <laughs> no, it's not! Hmm. Unless I hit it behind the teeth. We've turned the whole house upside down and still no costume. All right, so at least we know it's not in the house, which limits our possibilities to... The rest of the world? Shall we have a cup of tea in our room? Oh, this doesn't look good. Do you mind telling us what you're doing under there, Sam? Uh-oh. Hey, come on, you big oaf, you. What's wrong with him? He seems frightened of something. If I have to take apart the entire bed to save our darling Sam, well, then I will. Well said, darling. Let's quickly go get your toolbox. Um, we seem to have a bit of a problem. Hold on a sec, guys. No time for small talk, Eugenie. We've got a costume to find. Sam, whatever you do, stay here. It's all over for me, Wash. You guys have done your best, but I've come to the end of the line. Take care of you, Jeannie, my dear little sister. I'll never forget any of you. Never, ever. Ah! I'm the guilty one. I saw Vic hide his costume under the sofa and I took it. Because all Sam could think of was his acorn and he no longer wanted to play with us. I really messed up. <laughs> what? What did you do? It's all my fault. Yeah, I should have never played so much with that stupid acorn. <laughs> Sam, we've come to save you. Oh, no, the living stones. There's no choice. I have to unzip. <laughs> There's a box in the house. I don't know. That's incredible! Our darling little furballs chased away that terribly dangerous fox! Did you hear that, Sam? I'm terribly dangerous! <laughs> <laughs> Since you were all so brave, we have a little surprise for you. Voila! Oh, no! Enough toys for today! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. 
Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. Jesus served. Get it, Sam, get it! that mouse. Do you think he's sick? Oh. <laughs> It'll be fine, darling. Everything's okay. Breathe deep. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they can be ferocious. Sam, what was that about? You're supposed to be a cat. And cats are supposed to chase mice. They love doing that. Chase mice? Are you crazy? They run way too fast. All cats chase mice, I'm telling you! If you don't, the Living Stones might start wondering about that and realize that you're not a real cat! Are you sure? Yes, and if they found that out, you know what would happen. We'd be forced to return to the forest, condemned to endless wandering in cold and darkness. <sighs> As for acting like a cat, Sam's far from winning the Academy Award. But for the worst melodramatic lead, you've got a good chance, Washington. Call it, Vic. You couldn't understand. Nothing to panic about. I just have to revise our cohabitation contract with Biscuit. Biscuit? Biscuit, the mouse. He leaves the Living Stones alone, and in exchange, I give him a hefty piece of cheese every year, according to delivery. You do? Why don't you just pounce on him and chase him off and all that? Why should I? The Living Stones provide us with delicious kibble three times a day. Okay, should we do the usual? This year, Swiss cheese or Parmesan? Both. Both? Are you kidding? It's complicated enough finding one single piece of quality cheese. You want two? Hmm, I think you have a big problem on your paws in any case. So what do you mean, big? A cat who prefers cheese to mice? Bizarre, no? Mm, not in the least. I myself am tempted at times by a bit of blue cheese or cheddar. That's right. At times. The only explanation I can come up with is that creature is not a real cat. <laughs> this guy here, not a cat? Ridiculous! Sam is definitely a cat. Oh, and quite some cat, too. Right, Sam? You're a cat, aren't you? Meow! Meow right now! <laughs> Meow? <laughs> like I said, perhaps someone ought to open the Living Stone's eyes to this problem. <laughs> What's that? Let's just say if I happen to be in the right place at the right time, I could show them that their darling little cat doesn't behave like a real cat at all. They might end up understanding. You wouldn't dare. I've already disposed of bigger dudes than this. How do you mean big? Let's not get all worked up about this. Surely we can find some common ground on the subject. Anyway, one piece of cheese, two pieces of cheese. <laughs> what difference does it make? Cats do not make deals with mice. The matter is closed. If you want me, you won't find me. We can't just wait around and do nothing. Biscuit has threatened to reveal our secret without warning. We have no choice. We must teach Sam to chase mice. Yay, why me? Because you're the cat! And we'll have the same problem every time a mouse sneaks into this house. <laughs> Susie, you'll be the mouse. Run and don't stop until Sam catches you. Here we go! <laughs> what are you doing? Since we're about to be evicted, I'm taking advantage of the TV one last time. A hunter among hunters. 
the leopard can remain hidden for a very long time. A very, very long time. Sam, you are a genius! Okay, running isn't your strength, but waiting around without doing anything at all, that is your specialty. And? And so we just have to use the leopard method. Wait in ambush for Biscuit. Maybe we should just give Biscuit what he wants. <laughs> like cheese? Exactly. And where do we find loads of cheese? <laughs> Don't know. In the garbage. Listen carefully, Sam. There are three rules. Reactivity, reactivity, and most of all, whatever happens, reactivity. Mm, can you repeat the second one? <laughs> as soon as Biscuit appears, you grab him and toss him in the bag. Simplicity, efficiency, reactivity. I get it. Things are going to reactivity. Yeah. Grab Biscuit, put him in the bag, reactivity. Grab Biscuit. Reactivity. Hi, dude. How are things? The... Not bad, thanks. Just kind of hungry. Otherwise, great. Hey, I was just about to make myself a sandwich in the kitchen. Want me to bring you one? That is so cool. Thank you. <laughs> gotcha. I had my doubts, but this is so obvious. You are not a cat. Yay! Yay! Not so fast, rat face! <laughs> Hurry, Sam! You gotta catch him! Reactivity! Reactivity! What was the third thing already? Reactivity! Wash! He's on the sofa! <laughs> Lucky with stale Swiss cheese for the rest of my years. They don't know who they're up against. Better now? Do you feel calmer? No, I do not. I will when those two so called cats get rid of that disgusting rodent. <laughs> yeah. Hurry, Sam! Now's the time to be more cat like than all the cats in the world put together. <laughs> Can't be happening. Yeah? What is wrong with this cat? Can't even catch a mouse? Where's Victoria? <laughs> it's just a matter of time before the Living Stones realize that you're not a real cat. Fancy a piece of cheese? <laughs> I'm begging you, Vic. Help us. Cats do not make deals with mice. If you don't help us, we're done for. You've got to teach Sam how to chase mice. Sam is at a breaking point, Vic. That mouse threatens to reveal his true identity at any moment. That guy can't sleep. Just look at him. He's a zombie. Well, the zombie sure has an appetite. <laughs> what Sam needs to catch Biscuit, I mean, apart from endurance, style, and technique, is a motive. What do you mean? What motive? If you can come up with a very good reason for him to go after that stupid mouse, he will. <laughs> a motive. Motivation. Get it? Aha! <laughs> I'm not so sure this is a good idea, darling. I'm not going to sit around and do nothing until our cats decide to take action. Look what I found, Sam! Your favorite cookies! Uh, actually, I'm not sure I'm gonna give you one. I wonder if you really, really want one. Well, in that case, I could give you the whole packet. Oh, yes, oh, yes! But only if you manage to catch Biscuit. Then you can eat all of these cookies. <laughs> Sam! 
you guys. See you later. Fancy, <laughs> 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 Mr. Cat. I beg you to let me go. What did you just say? Did you just call me Mr. Cat? Oh, yes, 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 yes. You are 200% cat, a formidable mouse hunter. And believe me, I've seen loads, loads. Thank you, Mr. Cat. I promise I'll never bother the living stones again. Ah! The, the mouse. So that's it? Is it really gone for good? Nice work, Mr. Cat. We did it!